I have a resellers SharePoint list with reseller name and location, and I'm gonna go ahead and make a new flow to automate a process. Lots of different templates exist for me to make the process. I'm gonna choose the one that send a customized email whenever a new item gets added. So it's gonna go from SharePoint to Outlook. I need to have, to have my credentials already specified, which they are. When I continue, I get to the template of this flow with all the default parameters already set for me. I can go ahead and change them. For example, the site URL, the list name, but I don't have to. Same thing with sending an email. There's a bunch of things that are already set up for me and I can change this as needed. The email is gonna get sent to me currently, so that's fine. The subject, let's make it a little bit better than just new item added. So now it says new item added in the reseller list. We can even make it more dynamic by choosing one of these parameters to make it a dynamic variable directly in the subject line. For example, I can say the reseller was added. Now, not just that, but the reseller and the actual reseller's name. So the reseller and the reseller's name was added. And all I have to do is click on the variable to put it in the subject. Same thing with the body. I can go ahead and change the information here. So currently it's built for me the way it is and I don't have to change it, but I could go ahead and say a new reseller. And then since I have the location as well of where the reseller is gonna be, so I'm gonna go ahead and change this text to put the location in there. A new reseller in the location was added at a particular time and by a particular person. All right, I'm all set. I'm gonna click on Create Flow. It's pretty quick. It makes my flow. I'll click on Done if I'm done. And here it is. This flow now is recognized by my SharePoint list. Now if I go back to my SharePoint list and go to Flow and see your flows, it should take me back to that same location. Now I'm gonna go ahead and make a new reseller here, a new item. The title column is not used, but I'm gonna fill it up anyway. Visual SP is a reseller, location is Chicago. I'll save it. At this point in time, because a new item was added, Alex Darrow, who is the one that's signed in right now, should get an email. Here's a notification for the email. I can click on that notification and go directly to the email, or I can just go navigate to my mail, which I'll do right now. Here it is. The reseller Visual SP was added. And if I go into this email, you'll see all the details that we had set up in the flow.